What's up, Keymakers? Today, we're gonna talk about how being an entrepreneur is like riding a bike. You wake up, drive 30 minutes to work as an employee at your nine to five, which you hate, and all you can think about at work is providing for your family, starting your business, moving it forward, changing the world, and in the process, living the life of freedom and fulfillment you've always imagined. This podcast helps you transition from employee to entrepreneur. My name is Bradley G. Smith, and welcome to the Keymaker Nation podcast. So uh, I'm on my way home and uh, just got food. And um, yeah, so after we're done eating dinner tonight, my, we're going to take my son. And uh, my son is five, and he's still learning to ride his bike. And uh Man, I was I was just starting to think about the times that I've uh, spent with him trying to get him to learn to ride his bike. Um, he is um, he he just like has no interest in uh, riding his bike. He, well, he's interested until we get there, and uh, then I start you know guiding him and helping him. And as you know, after he's done it for probably two minutes, he really wants to just be done. And you know the way they have bikes now they have these um, not training wheels but balance bikes so it's like it goes you know how when you and I were kids it was either just learn to ride straight up or um, ride with training wheels and then ride and, and, and then learn to ride without your training wheels but now there's another step in there and uh, now they sell uh, balance bikes and the balance bike just is supposed to help them uh, it doesn't have any pedals. It doesn't have any training wheels. It, they just, basically, it's a bike, but they just put their legs down and they scoot along. And um, when they get really good at it, they can scoot really quick and then, you know, maintain their balance. But I was thinking about how, you know, um, the balance bike really removes a lot of the pain uh, of, of riding your bike. And... Um, for you and I, what I mean by that, for you and I is like when, when we started learning to ride our bike, I remember my dad would get me going, he would push me, and um, then I would have some runway for a minute. I would be able to, I would be like riding and not pedaling, but I'd be balanced just for a little bit, and then eventually, because I wouldn't start pedaling yet, um, the bike would just fall over, or um, you know, you, you'd finally learn to maintain that uh, speed and balance and pedal a little bit and then when you would start to turn you would fall over and uh, man I remember the first one or two times that I really started getting the hang of it um, I really had a wipeout and I had a I had this big like um, skin burn on my leg for like a week and I didn't want to go ride a bike at all after that and I was just starting to think about like how that really applies um, well to to being an entrepreneur right um, you you basically try something it doesn't work and then you try something again and it doesn't work and then you try it uh, and you try it again and this time you learn you remembered something that you should do that you didn't remember last time and it works a little bit better and um, and then you know you work uh, a little bit harder and you get a little bit better and you stay up a little bit longer and then you know you can turn and and that's sort of how being an entrepreneur is you know you you, you figure something out and you execute on it and then it didn't quite work exactly the way you wanted it so you 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 tweak it and you execute it again and then you're like okay cool got that piece now I'm moving on to the next piece and um, you know you, you just like being a successful entrepreneur is just l literally a series of tweaks that you have to make. You have to be able to identify what the adjustments are that you need to make, and then you have to change it. And so, um, you know, I was just start. I, I was just getting excited because I was thinking about uh, my son, and I'm excited for him to learn to ride a bike. But I think, um, aside from him, uh, you know. Um, being able to develop his own interest because he's like really uninterested in riding the bike once he's interested then it's gonna take really um, his ability to uh, get knocked down and get back up again right and um, to be able to fall over and hurt himself and then still have the desire to get back up and do it and that's what being an entrepreneur is like right 
you sort of, uh, in some ways, trade your freedom for risk. And um, it's it's fun though, you know. Like for me, it's it's an exciting thing. And so, for you, um, I would I would just say, where are you at in your journey in terms of being an entrepreneur and riding your bike? Have you been successful yet? Have you gotten back up again? If you haven't gotten back up, why haven't you gotten back up? And um, yeah, so I've got some more thoughts on that later, but. Um, you know, being an entrepreneur and being a successful entrepreneur, I, I was talking in one of my previous episodes about uh, going from zero to one as an entrepreneur, and that's sort of what being, uh, riding a bike is like, like right? Um, you sort of, once you have learned to ride a bike and stay up, you've hit the one. You've hit one X, and you, you can only get better from there. And so, um, yeah, so let's just... Uh, that's my th those are my thoughts for today guys let's just try to figure out when we get knocked down or we fall down um, how what did what is it that we can learn from our mistakes and then um, get back up and make it so that the next time it's a little bit better and uh, sometimes uh, when we get back up and we think I'm never gonna do that again uh, we end up uh, in, in edge cases we end up developing false beliefs about we, what we should or shouldn't do again and sometimes it requires us to go back and visit that and um, you know learn to ride our bike again as an entrepreneur because we didn't quite have it figured out the first time so that's it for today guys uh, being uh, an entrepreneur is kind of like learning to ride your bike all right see you guys hey guys don't forget to join me in the keymaker nation private Facebook group if you're listening to the podcast via iTunes, please rate and review. And if you're listening via YouTube, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thanks for listening.